Hey there everyone, this is Rao Cow, and today in the evening Rao Cow late night talk show morning, um, I think I just want to talk. Uh, I'm going to be running through some thoughts and some conversations I've had yesterday. And, I mean, you saw the slot, that the video slot of this is coming up, so I'm sure some of you have taken a wild guess at what this is going to be about. All the Sonic. Uh, all of the, as a concept, I started with all the Mega Man. That lasted around two years. And now, you know, and then there was a, a bit of a pause, which I think completes it to two years or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter. And then we are approaching four years of all the Sonic, and we're in the very end of 2009. I mean, Consider that the more we progress throughout the years, the less games are going to be per month. Fine. Fair. Fantastic. That's not a point, though. Um, so, if you've watched at all yesterday's uh, Sonic video... By the way, the big X over the finish, that was a choice made by the robots that suggests uh, thumbnails. I, I did not make that on purpose. That was a genuine choice I could take. I thought it was pretty funny, and I thought it was pretty weirdly appropriate. So, because in that video, I kind of dangled the idea of stopping ATS. It would be a very weird spot. And uh, people have ideas about that. Turn I So, I'm kind of curious why. But when I presented that, I, that idea, for a lot of people, the first instinct seems to be, No, you can't! You have to play all Sonic games that exist in order. But I... Th th did my pitch for that project work that well? I'm... I'm going to be perfectly... Bleh, I'm going to be perfectly blunt here about this. I have kind of just lost all passion for the concept of an all the... It just kind of became a little bit rot, rote. And it just became a little, like, I don't know. Like, like once upon a time, I feel like the idea of having a series that lasts forever is just like games upon games upon game beyond the horizon. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. And, um, like, you know, what brought me to the idea was that it was a project that was completely ridiculous. And, like, my goal was never to actually make it to the end of playing all of Sonic. So I just kind of casually expected it would happen. The goal was a journey, right? The goal is to do it and see what happens and hopefully have fun with it. So, once the journey becomes not fun, uh, we are heading into absolute technical issues. Uh, systematic issues, I should say. Nothing, you know mentally technical issues uh, like okay so you know Rao Cow, you just had a particularly bad time with a game yesterday and you know and you, you were not playing it the correct way so canceling a whole series over that seems pretty ridiculous and also Rao Cow, you're just barely recovered from a little bit of a situation like clearly you're probably just in a negative sort of mood or something, right? Uh, let me offer a correction to that point of view. These are things I've been kind of secretly keeping to myself thinking about for a little bit of time. But, you know, my attitude towards things like this is to just be, uh, be pig-headed, just kind of hold it in, and just wait it out until things kind of work out again, until things get fun again. But that's just not been happening. And I feel like the fact that I was in a more um, sensitive area, that's not the right word I'm looking for here. Vulnerable uh, sort of state of mind. I think what happened is that indeed I dropped my defense and my honest thoughts, you know, I, I let them run through, I let them come out. And now that I have, the more aware part of me is just kind of 
Like instead of debating with myself, the 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 main the main cow is just like, yeah, yeah. And like it's it's just kind of funny because like I said, the immediate reaction to a lot of people is like, okay, how do we fix Olympic? How do we justify just being able to skip it? How do, you know, like, what are reasons we can give out? Say, oh, no, this game doesn't count anymore. Maybe we should be more liberal about applying SANIC statuses. But all of that does not address the main core of the issue that I just don't want to play Serial Sonics all in a row. So it's kind of funny because I have... All the time, every time, I have heard so often uh, people in fan base telling me, Oh, Cal, you should play what you want. Oh, Cal, I want to see what you're playing, what you want to play. I'm, I'm, I want to see, I don't care, you know? So it's just kind of funny that, like I said, the first in instincts of a lot of people is to save ATS, but... Right now, I'm in a position where I don't want to save ATS. Uh, ATS, all the Sonic, is a thesis, you know, is an experiment. And I guess I'm okay with closing this, the, the experiment. Like, I'm not saying I'm now completely disinterested into, like, uh, Sonic games or anything. Like, what would happen if I were to stop ATS? Is I would basically... Uh, release the games like all the games in the series i wanted to play i would just pop them out and put them on a wheel this includes like some of the weird things like we could have like a sonic one shot like like a random week basically would be a a, a branded random week themed random week something like that like that's a possibility to do one day or just like all the games that people actually want to see yeah, like, I, I, I would put them on the wheel. I'd ask people to vote on, on some of those. That, to me, right now, is just more how I want to experience the universe. And I would do the same for, like, all the games that would be involved in a future Alda. You know? Some people have looked at my, at my, at my bucket.txt, and, you know, I have people kind of casually wonder, Hey... Why aren't they no Zelda games there? Why aren't there no Castlevania games there? My answer is, hmm, yeah. Why would I stop myself from playing games from huge franchises that people know that I've enjoyed in the past? That is mysterious. Now I could just play them? You know, <laughs> That's, it, does that not sound like a lot of fun to be able to do? So that's where I am right now mentally. Uh, what I am going to do, at the same time next week, I am not going to be playing Olympics. I'm going to be playing a game of my choosing. No shenanigans, no wheel nonsense. Like I said, no gimmicks. Just, I'm just, I got, I know what I want to do. I'm just going to pick that. I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play a thing. And uh, I want to see how that goes for me. Like, maybe not just one thing. Like, honestly, like, for a little bit, let's make the C spot the Raukau extravaganza, where I just choose things. And, um, we'll see. Like, maybe I'll miss ATS, and I'll be willing to, uh, sort of negotiate with myself on if I don't need to be as thorough with all the games of like if i let myself like demo a game and then if i'm done i'm just done i'll i'll decide or maybe i'll love just playing what i want over the feelings that ats were giving me and i'll keep going that way i think that's what i need now and I guess I wanted to let everyone know in as, as detailed way as I could think of. Just so you know. Just so you can share my mind space a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm like seeing me stopping ATS. At some point in a conversation, I call that a failure. I don't think that's accurate. I don't think I failed. I think I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
See, another problem is whenever something like this happened, I become very dramatic about everything. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> like, I really am. <laughs>